So this lecture is about retrieval of vented generation and using bedrock and quadrant. So for the generation part, we'll use LLM and for the external information is done by retrieval augmentation. So the LLM is AWS bedrock and the external information is got from quadrant. So how is the data ingestion done? The file is read by the Python package. We divide the file text into chunks, convert each chunk of text into embeddings, chunks are batched and uploaded into quadrant. So if you do not understand or are a little bit fuzzy about embeddings, please refer to my lecture on embeddings and cosine similarity. I will put that in the link. So once it is processed, we have got three files, uh, the biotech, the, there is another two PDFs and this is how we read the text, you see the embeddings and then it is chunked, it is in batches, we are putting it there. So we are putting in batches of 100 each, so, so the first one since, the, since there are only 60, it's in done in one shot. The second one is 73 embedding, so it's also done in one shot. The second file is a little bit bigger, so it has 121 embeddings and therefore it is done in two shots. So the query is done by the user, we search using quadrant, we send the search results and send it to AWS Bedrock and then the AWS Bedrock sends us the answer. So let's see this in action. So we have already inserted the data and uh, we'll see of how we insert the data. So, so let's go here. So you first read all the environment variables, uh, the host URL, the collection name, the dimension, the model name. We can see the environment. Um, so this is the environment, this is the URL and this is the model that we are using, the sentence transformer model that we are using. And then what we are doing is that we are reading the file and we are returning the text. So this is a function for that, get PDF data. The next is we are dividing the text into chunks of chunk length, which is the default is 500 characters. Then we are using the sentence transformer. And in this loop here, what we are doing is that we are creating the embeddings so the chunks. We are inserting the chunks into the quadrant collection. We are inserting the metadata the chunks into the quadrant collection. So this is how we are doing it. And you see once it is done, you can see of how we've got three files here and those three files are inserted into quadrant. So you can see it here. And if I go here in quadrant, you can see that this is the search engine. It has got the file name, the metadata, and you will have the vector. So the vector is here. You see the vector is here. If I so this vector, if I copy it, you can get the vector down here. So you see, this is a metadata that is said. It has a file name. It has a token which has got the text and so on and so forth. Now, after this has been inserted, then we do the query. So the query is that we, we are using, uh, we have written one class for it. And the class is very simple. The class is an init method where it has a collection of the quadrant, the model name and the URL. Next we are doing, we are getting the quadrant client, then we are retrieving and we are taking as input the query that is uh, input and then we are querying the quadrant vector database and we are limiting uh, with five results, that is the five top mode results are coming in and then we are concatenating these five results and getting a context. After we get a context, what we are doing is that you see here, after we get a context, we we then do a, we send it to the AWS Bedrock for completion. So before we go into AWS Bedrock for completion, I just want to give you a brief overview of what we do in how do we set up AWS Bedrock. So first of all, is that we have to provide um, this um, policy to bedrock and then you can do with boto3 you can get the list of the foundation models and you can get the bedrock runtime and then 
you pass it as a JSON and here we are using an Amazon Titan large thing. And uh, most important thing is that we, we are having a prompt template here. It has a command and a blog. And this is how you are getting the uh, thing that is there. Similarly, for, for the Anthrop uh, Claude, we, you see the prompt. It is starts with the human and it has the assistant also here. So, so this is what is happening. And uh, we are using the Claude Instant V1 and this is a streaming output and you get the results. If you don't want the streaming output, you can use practically the same syntax, a little bit different um, with Anthropic Claude and this is what is going on. So this is how you set up and see that the Amazon Bedrock is working. Now back to the query. So for the query, what we are doing in the, in the Bedrock here, is that once we get the query, we are using the prompt data and you see the same context here. The context is given here and the query is given here and, um, and we pass this context, we pass it to the Anthropic Claude and we get the result. So this is the uh, class here, it's, it's one class and then we use it in the app. It's a Streamlit app which is very simple, it has an user input and we then ask the query and we get the input here. Now, if you see it in action here, this is the app which is there. And if I ask what is segmentation, you can get the answer from here and you can get this answer. So this is the answer it is getting. Uh, you can get also the answer. Um, so you can say what is Let's see whether it can give the answer or not. So I misspelled colem and it gave the answer and um, it is from the biology book. Uh, so you can ask what is diploblastic So these are different biology terms and since the text um, that we have ingested into the vector database, um, we are getting these answers from the database. So this wraps up our, our whole lecture on Quadrant uh, and using Bedrock as the LLM. Hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye. All the code will be checked into GitHub.